Hello everyone, this is Madison and you are watching Math with Madison. Today in this video I will be discussing the basic concept of the topic of bearing. Uh, the questions from bearing are very important and uh, what you need to know, what are three to four main points that you must know before solving this question. So what is bearing? Bearing is basically an angle but with few conditions. Let us talk about it. So bearing, as I have said that it is an angle, it is an angle number one thing. Okay, number two, it is measured, it is measured from north. The number two thing is that it is measured from north. Keep this thing in mind. Number three, it is measured, it is measured in clockwise direction measured in clockwise direction and keep this thing in mind as well and number four it is measured it is measured in three digits so these are the few things you need to keep in mind before solving this question. Now how to solve a question on this? Let us solve an example. So just introducing a basic concept. This is a coordinate system and here you have x-axis but we don't need these axis how about we need the axis. So this is x-axis, y-axis. Okay, now let us take a point over here. This is called P and this is origin, starting point. Name it O. Now join your origin with point P. So this is a line O P. No, you have got two points, and we are going to measure the bearing of O from P and P from O. Starting from the first case, measure the bearing bearing of P from O. Now we have we, we will be given some data obviously if this is suppose 40 degrees. This will be given uh, in question. Now what we need to know is that to start from where mean we have to measure our angle from north. So where the north will be plotted? This is the first question. So you will plot your north from where you have to measure the bearing. This word from O, this word is telling you that you have to plot your north at O. From O means plot north at O. So I am going at O. Let us draw the directions. This is north. This is east, this is south, this is west. So then this one is north, as you can see here. So the first thing is to draw north. And you will be able to know this from this word from. If it is from O, draw your north at O. Now the north has been sorted. Step number one, done. Now measure in clockwise direction. You have to move in clockwise direction. So this is clockwise direction. Clockwise. But the next important thing is, I will move in clockwise, but I mean how or how much I mean from where or at which point I need to stop. So I will stop when I will be at intersection point with the line OP. P and O or O and P, the line joining these two alphabets, these two alphabets will be your ending point. Starting from north, moving in clockwise direction and stop over here, the line joining P and O. So this is your answer, this angle, this one. So you can find this one, so you must have uh, some basic knowledge of angles, alternate angles, corresponding angles, angle of the line. 
180 angles. No, because this angle is 90 degree. Because this is y axis, this is x axis. So they have an angle of 90 in between them. So if total is 90, this is 40, the rest one will be total is 90, this is 40, this is the 50. So this is your answer. Bearing of P from O mean from O, O was the reference point where we plotted our knot, we moved in clockwise direction until we made the line. So this 50, but we have to write it in 3 digits. 0, 5, 0. This is case number 1. Case number 2. Case number 2 is bearing of O no, from P. From P. Bearing of O, but from where? From P. Now this is the point. Here you have to know down the difference. From O, we plotted not at O. In this case, from P, so our not will be plotted at P. From P mean draw not at P. Draw this sign dimension, sorry, this uh, directions at P. Just mark a plus sign. So this is east, this is west. Here you have got north, upward, and obviously this is south. No, north is plotted at P because here it was from P. So come back to point P. North has been plotted, move in clockwise direction until you meet the line. So this is your required answer. You can separate this in two parts. A semicircle, this one, which is 180, plus this section to reach over here. Starting from here, until here, you have a semicircle and this step, this part, this bit part. And this is equal to 50 because this is north, this is north, north and north and a transversal line. Not, not, and a transversal line. So if this is 50, this is 50 alternate angle. This is 50. The concept of alternate angles. This is 50, then this is 50. So up till this this point, a semicircle is 180 plus this one is 50. So your total bearing will be 180 plus 50. Bearing of O from P in clockwise direction. 180, 180 for the semicircle plus 50 that will give you 180 plus 50 that is 230. So this is your answer. This is the basic concept of it. I hope you have got the idea how to start the question and a simple example. So in the next video I will obviously solve some papers from the past questions in your papers. So keep watching and subscribe to the channel if you have other questions. Thank you so much.